the men's singles still to come. Kazuma Sasakai from Japan up against Ajay Jairam, the Indian. And it'll be the Pune 7-8s is hoping they can complete this 5-0. But Ajay Jairam will be the man he has to beat. He's been impressive so far. Love all. Play. It's Kazuma Sasakai up against Ajay Jairam. Fight. And just catch the frame. Aparna, this is going to be a close one because both these men rank in very similar positions on the tour as well. But also, what it brings to the tie, the final men's singles, we always see that intensity a little bit lift here. Well, also, if you look at the head to head, of course, it's um, Ajay Jairam who leads two is to one. But remember, they haven't played since 2015, so this could be an entirely different story. But I agree with what you say, that this men's single is going to be quite keenly contested. Indonesian Super Series Premier 2017, that's the time Srikant was really, had hit the purple patch in his career. Yeah, Sakai in 2019, playing only five tournaments since July. Where he went down in the first game, won the second and the third. But a much more solid start for Ajay. We've seen that change of direction on the return of serve from him. This time, well read by Kazuma Sasakai. Well, he hit that shot very, very hard, Ajay Jairam. Kazuma Sasakai steady hands to get it back. Seen some quick encounters so far tonight, but that's a quick smash from Ajay Jena. And also a well controlled smash. Look how close it comes to that line. Good one from Ajay. Okay, got Sakai coming forward. And suddenly it's on level terms at five apiece. And that goes long as well. We've seen the shuttle drift towards the near court quite a bit. Just carries it out. It just indicates that. You know, he's not feeling the pressure as much, but he's come in very, very determined. Yeah, he'll want to go back to winning ways. He lost his last encounter to Tarantha, having beaten two Indians in Ansar Yadav and Sadish Kumari. He's up against another Indian here, in Ajay Jairam. On the turn, he's up 8-5. Kazuma Sasakai, unforced error by Ajay Jairam into the net. And it's been that sort of night for the Award Warriors so far. Can it change? Will we see a comeback? We'll find out on the other side of a short breather. Sakai leads 8-5 in the first. Two wins out of two versus the Indians so far this season, Kazumasa Sakai. And Aparna, he's looking pretty good so far. Ajay Jairam though, does grow as the encounter progresses, but it's a different Ajay we're seeing tonight. Well, we saw him start off well and then somewhere in the last four or five points, he seems to have... First to 15, best of three sets in the Star Sports BBL. Slightly different to the format on the world circuit and again, this is by some margin of button. I think the last few points just have indicated that Ajay has lost his focus somewhere. Four and unforced errors just go on increasing for Ajay. And Sakai meanwhile, beautiful. Smart hands, late push, change of direction into the corner. That's as good as you can see with it as well from Kazumasa Sakai. Two points away from taking this first game. And it could mean trouble for the Award Warriors. They're already in trouble at five to nothing in this time. And that trouble continues to prove game points to the man from Japan. He's forcing Ajay to earn his points and Ajay not quite managing to do that. Sakai. Very firmly in control in this first game. To Kazuma Sasakai and the Pune Seven Aces. And that's long. Still in it, Ajay Jairam, but this is definitely in the pocket of Kazuma Sasakai, barring a miracle. Still game point. Nice net play and that'll end that. First game in hand now for the Pune 7 Aces. 
taken it in convincing fashion, 15-6. And Kazuma Sasaka looks confident, looks composed, and he'll want to finish this in two. He's taken the first 15-6 versus Ajay Jairam, second game on the other side. And someone who knows a thing or two about the Olympics here in the com box, Aparna. Ajay Jairam just not looking. Well, but if you think of it positively, we must say that Ajay, one of the players who is capable of resetting, he's not had the best of first games, but if he can find his rhythm in the second, he can still make a great anticipation from him in that rally. Oh, what a rally this is to start game two from Ajay Jairam. Great defence and he's converted it into a point. That should lift him instantly. A point like that can turn the course of a match. Well, you know, if the rallies go on like that and it turns out to be a marathon match, well... Ajay Jairam up 3-love in this second game, having lost the first and a nice change-up on the serve too. Not ranked too far behind Ajay Jairam Kazumasa Sakai. And now he attacks. That's what we saw a bit more of in game one. And he has to take it to Ajay Jairam, otherwise Ajay's got the ability to come back. I think Kajima Sasaka clearly knows that this is the match-winning strategy. But as you said, he'll have to do it consistently. Dad faster than his opponent, right now not managing to do so. But a hunch, this might go to three up. Oh! Because Ajay Jairam suddenly is bringing that consistency. That and hence you see him more comfortable in the second game. And that's why it's critical that he actually carries a lead from this side of the court into the break. Oh! But it's Kazuma Sasaka that's moving nicely again into the net. His approach is so strong. He's got the lower body strength to drive him forward. Well, also, you know, when he came on court, Kazuma Sasaka, you can actually see that he's timing the shuttles very well. He's middling. And that's why those push clears, those pump clears, tough to control from the side that Kazuma Sasaka is on. Again, good at the net though, from the man from Japan, but takes it a little easy. 6-4, Ajay leads. Oh wow, what a put away that is. Rapid. He pounced on it. It wasn't too loose, but he was just there so quickly. And not a good shot from Ajay Jairam whatsoever and was deserved that sort of punishment. On the harder side of the court to play from as well. Great defence. Now using a bit more in terms of the flat lifts, Kazuma Sasakai. That sits up nicely for Ajay Jera and he smacks it into the body of Kazuma Sasakai, a contender for our Bridgestone Super Rally of the time. But both the players are just waiting for that shot to come up and actually go for the kill. But it's the placement on that shot, the most vulnerable spot to actually hit that shot. And again, the change-up working for Ajay Jairam. Yep. And again, the awkward height working for Ajay Jairam. And he takes the lead into the break. This time, it's the Indian that leads going into the turn at 8-5, hoping to force a decider. Six eight, the man from Japan. Yeah, we just didn't see that intent. Well, we see it now, loud and clear from Kazuma Sasakai. Where was this up on now in the first half of it? I think Ajay just fed him that shot. That was just way too perfect for him. Actually, make it look so easy. That just don't give that to him because it's the only thing he's putting away with ease. But he said take it one point at a time, so maybe he can put that behind him and move forward now, Ajay Jairam. What a start this is. Oh, wow. What hands from Ajay Jairam. Just couldn't quite put enough back. Great defence for most of it. Well, I don't think Ajay was doing too much thinking in that rally. In fact, was just reacting to that shuttle. Of course, badminton being the fastest racket sport in the world. I see some very quick reactions, but in the end, the attack. Yeah, he's talking to himself, says, that's what we should have been doing. Where's that? 
He's got such smart hands again. He's got the height, he's got the reach, he's got a great physique up under for the sport. Just got to put all of that together in this game. Great view of that as well from up top. Again, that short lift from Ajay Jaina, but he gets away with it. How is Kazuma Sasakai not finished that point? Not for the first time. Ajay Jairam's defense comes to his rescue. What are the reactions? I mean, just guessing it, reacting and putting it over the net. Pushed it long. His eyes just lit up. And suddenly, Ajay Jairam is just two points away from forcing it into a third. Again, great defense from Ajay Jairam. It is really working for him, but this time goes cross court. And that's too much to do, even for Ajay. Well, that wasn't a good rally for Ajay Jairam at all. He's been all making all the wrong decisions with the strokes there, and in the end, Sakai. Well, no mistakes there. 90 kilometers per hour. Be at 14, then you could say you're comfortable. 30, not so much. Ajay will have to be careful. Well, He's heard you. And Sakai says, let me help him out. And now it's game point for Ajay Jaira. Looking to force a decider for the Awadh Warriors. And he's got the opportunity. He's got five of them here. That's wide. Game. And that's the game to Ajay Jaira. How about that? He's moving swiftly. There's an air of confidence back in him. And he's taken the second game versus... The man from Japan, Kazuma Sasakai. 6.15 in the first, but he's taken the second. 15.10, and we've got a decider in this men's singles in the final match of this tie. And it's been a fine performance from him so far in this second game. He's turned it around, Aparna. Well, he certainly has, and I think you know, relied a bit on that defence. Well, not a strategy that... Let's come down to this one. Ajay Jairam has momentum on his side. He's got that confidence, but it's an uh, easy tap. We saw a slightly different Ajay Jairam in game two. That defense has been rock solid, but the intent much better from the Indian. Nice tumble over the net as well. Sets up a big smash and that is a snap. Wow, fantastic snap with the wrist of Ajay Jairam. Well, again, he's playing on the faster side of the court and that smash 408 kilometers per hour. And good angle on that one. Looked effortless almost from Ajay Jairam and generates 408 kilometers. And what about that? We saw this from Priyanchu Rajawan yesterday. Just as good from Ajay Jairam tonight. One of your favorite shots, isn't it, Earl? Well, that one was he was in trouble. Didn't expect that shot to go to the baseline, Sakai. It was perfect from Ajay. If only I could play there as well, Aparna. I'm a fan of it. You can teach me at some point. A little bit of practice. Well, and you can do it. Well, the dive isn't working. Kazuma Sasakai coming back strong. And I think we've got on our hands a great deciding game here. Well, considering, you know, when Sakai started off the match on this side of the court, he managed to win that game 15-6. So he's using the flat pushes instead, but that is a gimme. Hit me and stay hit. Well, that's an example of exactly what he shouldn't be doing. In fact, Ajay Jairam tried to use the flicks of a couple of occasions in this match. It worked, but on that occasion going terribly wrong. Lack of focus suddenly. A loss of focus maybe because he had two good points back to back. Looking for a third quick point there, didn't get it. He's been good with the smashes and he's good, been just as good with his deception and disguise. That's a great drop shot from Ajay Jaira. Probably the first time we've seen him playing that shot in the match so far. And he's pulled it out at the right time. Ajay, good slice on that. Completely caught with the deception. This has been sublime from Ajay Jairam in Game 3. He's lifted the right time. He's got Kazuma Sasakai on the ropes. And he will take a sizable lead into the break. He looks confident. He's got a big lead. And Ajay Jairam will come back after the turn looking to close this out. He leads 8-3 in the decider versus Kazuma Sasakai. That's the leaderboard. Today's day especially, it's a solid competition to get in the fastest smash of the day.
especially if you can pip someone like Ivanov. I mean, the guy's a giant, and when you look at the overall speed of boats, suddenly Chirag Shetty, the lanky young man, finds himself. It's quite sizable in a 15-point format. Oh, he has missed out on a gift. Kasumasa Saka and Ajay Jairam knows it. And one that he should control from here, but it's not done by any stretch of imagination. Again, too loose. Very, very loose, short. And... Dictate rallies, Ajay. There's some thinking to do there. Great smash, but equally as good from Ajay Jairam defensively. He's been good and the mistakes helping the cause from Kazuma Sasaka. Another unforced error. But at this moment, it's Ajay who knows what's the measure of what's going on on the court, really. Deficit of five now for Sakai. Great return that though. Oh, wow. Fast hands. He is reviewing this. It looks pretty decent, actually. It's a close one. Each and every point at this point in time. Azumasa Sakai. Yeah, it looked good. And it is good. The team in pink, the Pune seven aces. So Ajay Jairam is searching for the first point. Or the only point, rather, I should say, for the Award Warriors. They did get a point in the doubles and then that was squandered when the Trump was lost. That's a huge smash. And Sakai is coming back into this one. It's not done yet. Only now getting those chances to smash and he's smashing them well now, Takai. And he's also expecting the returns to come back and to play the slightly longer rally, Sakai. But he just put just the right amount of power. Two-point deficit now. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Oh, wow! How about that? The fast hands from the man from Japan. That was lightning quick. Well, we thought Ajay Jairam had a sizable lead. Well, now it's a very, very slender. And momentum is a powerful word in sport. He's trailing by just one. 10-11 in the decider. There's the error now. And not the best time for Kazuma Sasakai. Just as he was building that momentum. 11-12. Again, the lead down to just one. What an encounter we've got to finish this tie off. Great pick up again from Sakai. Oh, great smash down the line again. Charges into the net after the first smash. And what do you know? It's level terms at 12 all. Unbelievable. That was an unbelievably played rally from Sakai, of course. He got the shots at the baseline, he used the drop, he used the half smash, but in the end it was that big smash. And it's a dangerous sign unless Ajay Jairam stems this run and nips it in the butt right here. 12 all, this is a huge point. Perfect tumble. And the mistake into the net, unforced error. Well, that's the kind of height that Ajay should be playing to Sakai. But Warriors all charged up. Crucial point this. This is a huge one and it goes wide. It sets up game point and match point for Ajay Jairam. This will make him feel a little better. 14-12. And give the Award Warriors a single point at least from this tie. Wow. What a pick up. And again, defensively, he's been brilliant all through the encounter, Ajay. He'll have to do it again. And again, this time too much. Just too easy for Saka. He was relentless through that rally. And it goes away of the Japanese man. Well, he was on the defence, Ajay. And he was content being on the defence. Not the wisest of strategies, but of course, we have to give it up for Kazumasa Saka. He was under tremendous pressure, remember? That's huge again, but brilliant from Ajay. There, that'll do it. Ajay Jaira with a massive fist bump. What a match to finish this time. He takes something home at least for the Award Warriors. But that was a sublime comeback from the Indian Ajay Jaira. Not for the first time this season. He is impressed. He has soaked up the pressure. And he has come good in the end.
He's got that comeback ability about him. Ajay Jairam, he never gives up. He's defensively brilliant. And it was that smart push again that helped him right through game two and three. That clinched it and gives our Warriors at least one point from this tie. What a match from Ajay Jairam. His team absolutely loving it. You got a feel for Kazuma Sasakai though. He threw everything at this encounter and came up just short versus Ajay Jairam.